Sixth grade, module four, lesson 30, classwork. Opening exercise, draw an example of each term and write a brief description. So an acute angle. So this is all reviewing terms that you actually learned back in fourth grade, and then we're gonna use those terms and kind of apply it to the equations that we've been working on. So an acute angle, if remember, is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So I'm gonna write a brief description so it is less than 90 degrees, and that might look something like this. So that's less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angle would be greater than 90 degrees. Or actually, we can make that more specific. It's not necessarily just greater than 90 degrees. It's between 90 degrees and 180. So I'm going to change that. Say ninety degrees and one hundred eighty degrees. So something like that. So that's greater than one hundred eighty degrees. I'm actually going to change it because that looks kind of like ninety degrees. So I'm going to make it like that. So that angle right there. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Basically, it looks like a corner. So that right there is exactly 90 degrees. And then a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It is just a straight line. So you can just draw a line. So that is a straight angle. And then a reflex angle. So a reflex angle is one that we work with. I would say it's the least common type of angle. It's between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So what you have to do for that is draw an angle and then it's actually this part of the angle. So it's greater than 180 degrees, but not the full circle of 360 degrees. Okay, so now we're gonna apply those terms to some equations. Okay, so it says angle ABC measures 90 degrees. So this angle ABC, that right there is 90 degrees. This angle has been separated into two angles. If one angle measures 57 degrees, what is the measure of the other angle? So the first question asks, how are these two angles related? Well, they're related because if we added them together, they would add up to 90 degrees. So we can say, that because we know that it's a right angle, so it's 90 degrees, so we could say the two angles have a sum of 90 degrees. What equation could we use to solve for x? So we don't know what x is, but we know that x degrees plus 57 degrees, together they are 90 degrees. So let's solve. So if we have x degrees plus 57 degrees, we just need to get rid of the 57 degrees to get x alone. So that would be equal to 90 degrees minus 57 degrees. And 90 minus 57 would be 33 degrees. So x is equal to 33 degrees. So the unknown angle right here is equal to 33 degrees. Example two, Michelle is designing a parking lot. She has determined that one of the angles should be 115 degrees. What is the measure of the angle X and angle Y? So here we have angle X and Y. And how, it, so let's start with the first one. How is angle X related to the 115 degree angle? So how are angle X and 115 degrees equal? We know that this is a straight angle right here. So together they would add up to 180. So we could say they form 
a straight angle. So their sum is 180 degrees. So what equation could we use to show that? Well, we would have x degrees plus 115 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. How would you solve this equation? So we would have x degrees plus 115 degrees. We need to get x by itself, so let's subtract 115 degrees. And since we did it to that side, we need to also subtract 115 degrees over here. So what is 180 minus 115? 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 1 is 6, so it would be 65 degrees. Then it says, how is angle Y related to the angle that measures 115 degrees? So how is Y related to it? I shouldn't have drawn over it. So how, so again, it forms a straight line. So angle Y plus 115 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, which is, was exactly the same thing with X. So we could say they form a straight angle and add up to 180 degrees. So since that also adds up to 180 degrees and it's the same 115, then X and Y are equal. So they're both 65 degrees. So we can say therefore angles X and Y are both equal, we say are both 65 degrees. Example three, a beam of light is reflected off of a mirror. Below is a diagram of the reflected beam. Determine the missing angle measure. Okay, so what I see right here is a straight angle. So we know that it all adds up to 180 degrees. So we could say, how are the angles related in this equation? So the three angles add up to the three angles add up to 180 degrees because they form a straight line or you could say because they form a straight angle. What equation could we write to represent this solution? So we would have 55 degrees plus x degrees plus the other 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. How would you solve an equation like this? Well, I would have 55 degrees plus x degrees plus 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So let's combine 55 degrees plus 55 degrees. So we would have 110 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So now we can get rid of the 110 degrees and we're gonna do that by subtracting. So 110 degrees minus 110 degrees plus x degrees would be equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. So x degrees would just be equal to 180 minus 110, which is 70 degrees. So this right here would be 70 degrees. Example four, angle ABC measures 90 degrees. It has been split into two angles, angle ABD and angle DBC. The measure of two angles is in a ratio of four to one. What are the measures of each angle? So use a tape diagram to represent the ratio four to one. So angle ABC is the one that's four to one. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram of four. And angle DBC was the to one. So we have four to one. What is the measure of each angle? We know that the whole thing measures 90 degrees. So 
in total we have one, two, three, four, five units. So those five units add up to equal 90 degrees. So one unit, we can figure out one unit by doing 90 divided by five, which would be five goes into 40 eight times. So it is 18. So one unit is 18 degrees. So angle DBC is 18 degrees. Five units, or sorry, four units would be 18 times four is 32, would be 72 degrees. So 18 degrees is angle DBC and 72 degrees would be angle ABC. How can we represent this situation with an equation? So we could represent it by saying that angle ABC would be four, we can just use X, plus another X, angle DBC is equal to 90 degrees. Solve the equation to determine the measure of each angle. So we kind of already done this, but that's okay. So four X degrees plus X degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So five X degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And we know that we need to divide over divided by five would be equal to 90 degrees divided by five. So X degrees, we already did 90 divided by five. It was 18. So then angle DBC is equal to 18 degrees. Angle ABC was four times that much. So an 18 times four was 72 degrees. So two different ways to figure it out with a tape diagram and with an equation. Exercises. Write and solve an equation in each of the problems. Number one, angle ABC measures 90 degrees. It's been split into two angles, angle ABD and angle DBC. The measure of the two angles is in a ratio of two to one. What is the measures? What are the measures of each angle? Okay, so we have two angles, the ratio of two to one. So this one looks bigger, so I'm gonna say this is two X and this one is X. So one is ABD is double the size of angle DBC. So we know that since it's a right angle, it measures 90 degrees. So we have two X degrees plus X degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So if we put those together, we would have three X degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And we just need to divide by three. So three X degrees divided by three is equal to 90 degrees divided by three and 90 divided by three would be 30. So X degrees is 30. So that means that that is just X. So that's angle DBC. And two X, so two X degrees would be equal to two times 30 degrees or 60 degrees. And that would be angle A, B, D. So this one was 60 degrees. This one is 30 degrees. Number two, solve for X. So it looks like we have straight line or straight angle, which is 180. So it's all gonna add up to 180. We have 64 degrees plus X degrees plus 37 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So let's start combining terms here. So 64 plus 37, we get 101 degrees. So we would have X degrees plus 101 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So let's get rid of the 101 degrees. And then X would be equal to, so 180 
minus 101 would be 79 degrees. Number three, Candace is building a rectangular piece of a fence according to the plans her boss gave her. One of the angles is not labeled. Write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle. So it's a rectangle, which means that this is a right angle. So 49 degrees plus, oops, plus x degrees would be equal to 90 degrees. So we need to do 49 degrees plus x degrees minus 49 degrees. We need to get rid of that 49 equal to 90 degrees minus 49 degrees. So 90 minus 49 would be 41 degrees. So x is equal to 41 degrees. Number four. Rashid hit a hockey puck against a wall at a 38 degree angle. The puck hit the wall and traveled in a new direction, determining the missing angle in the diagram. So I guess we're solving for x here. Determine the missing angle in the diagram. So this is a straight angle, which means it's 180. So those three angles add up to 180 degrees. So we have 38 degrees plus x degrees plus 38 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So 38 plus 38 is 76. So we have 76 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So let's get rid of the 76 degrees. So 76 degrees minus 76 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 76 degrees. 180 minus 76 would be, that's four, seven minus zero is, or seven minus seven is zero, and one minus nothing is one, so 104 degrees. So that x is equal to 104 degrees. Number five. Jackson is creating a mosaic design on a rectangular table. He has added two pieces to one of the corners. So we're, he added two pieces to a corner. So we're gonna draw a corner. And then he added two pieces. Something kind of like that. The first piece has an angle measuring 38 degrees and is placed in the corner. So the first one is 38 degrees. The second piece has an angle measuring 27 degrees and is also placed in the corner. So 27 degrees. Draw a diagram to model the situation, then write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle in a third piece that could be added to a corner of the table. So let's call this x. We don't know what it is, but we know all three of them. This is a corner, so it's a right angle, and equals 90 degrees. So 38 degrees plus 27 degrees plus x degrees equal to 90 degrees. So 38 plus 27. 8 plus 7 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So 65 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So let's get rid of the 65 degrees. And 90 minus 65 is 25 degrees. So x degrees is 25 degrees. So the missing third piece would be 25 degrees. Number six. 